Okay, I'm gonna keep my towel. There okay? you go. Keeping the day. And for the third day in a row, Padres fans watched the action on the big screen over at Petco Park, and oh. it was free to be out there. Those, these are so much fun. CBS 8's Brian White joins us live there. Brian, how much fun did you have just taking this game in from the stadium? You, you know, Kirsten, it was a lot of fun, you know, just to see the game on the big screen, to be around fans and, you know, have the ballpark experience. It was definitely a lot of fun to be in there. Um, but again, you know, it's a disappointing loss, as we know, and we're all feeling a little deflated out here at Petco Park. But despite that loss, you know, fans are still proud of their Padres. And take a look at how much fun they had during the, during the game. The watching party is amazing. The food is great. The environment, the vibe is right. Way too humble for this flex. The loss is difficult for fans to take in, but some say the ride has still been worth it. It's a good time because obviously, even though our boys are 3,000 miles away, it brought the city together as a community to cheer them on. We're bringing good mojo, good vibes across there. I'm just happy to be here. I mean, not losing to the Dodgers, not losing to the Mets, being out here in the championship game, 28 years old, and I finally get to be here. So happy to be here, baby. Let's go Padres. Uh, being with family, uh, being able to watch it with like other fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tickets were free. And fans just had to register for them to get seats. And while the ball game was the main attraction, of course, it was a family friendly time here at Petco with people lining up to get pictures with the Friar mascot. And plenty of fans indulged in the great ballpark food and beverage. Are you excited for the Padre game? Yeah. What are you dressed up as? A hot dog. Go Padre! It is actually a really fun experience and unique experience because you still have that that home game vibe, that feeling, but at the same time, you know, yeah, they're not playing in front of you, but it's the same energy, it's the same loudness, the same togetherness. So it's very unique. I, I really enjoy it. Padres fans are no doubt a dedicated bunch. This guy even got a special yeah. tattoo. I even got the Petco Park tatted on my arm. Where's that? Right here. Fans leaving Petco were a little deflated, understandably so, but they're still proud of their Padres. I'm never eating Philadelphia cream cheese ever again. Go Padres! We got this 2023. Definitely disappointing. You know, I'm really proud of the Padres because they did so well this season. I feel like beating the Dodgers alone was kind of just a, a celebration for the whole city. And, uh, you know, unfortunately we lost this one, but uh, they had an amazing season. I, was, I had my hopes really high, but... At least we beat the Dodgers! Yeah, at least, at least we beat the Dodgers. 2023, let's go! Again, a disappointing loss, but Stephen Kirsten, you heard it from that Padre fan. We are not allowed to eat any Philadelphia cream cheese, and cheesesteaks are also out for the, for the <laughs> foreseeable future. You know, to you guys. I, I'm disappointed by what happened today, yeah. but I'm drawing the line to the Philly uh, cream cheese. I mean, that, you, you got to have the Philadelphia cream cheese. <laughs> too soon, Steve. Yeah, I, 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 can't, I, can't get, I can't cut that out. Or maybe I'm just full from the game, but too soon. <laughs> too soon. I'll give out the cheesesteak, though. Brian, thank you. <laughs>